Hey, this is Doug from Confology.com, and in this video, we're going to look at how to create a mega menu like the one that I have on my website. So you can see here when I hover over these navigational items, we have a mega menu that drops down with each of the items that you can select. These are sub navigation items. Each of them appears to be within its own little uh, card, so to speak, with a, an icon or an image. And there's a background to it. There's a hover effect. Um, to me, this is just a really easy way to navigate and to show things visually and uh, it works across uh, multiple items. So we're going to show you how to build this from scratch, kind of dissect how I put this together. So let's first take a look at how I've set this up on my site. I'm in Thrive Theme Builder right now and Thrive Theme Builder allows me to change the header on my entire website and to customize it. So we'll go ahead and click on the header and edit section. Now, when I hover over each of these items, you'll see that I do have this mega menu drop down section and we'll go over when we start from scratch, how to add a mega menu. But right now let's dissect the individual components of this mega menu so that we can see what we're going to build together. So first things first, each of these items is what's called a mega menu item. And because you can see this green padlock here, when I stylize one of these, it's going to apply the same style to all of them. And that, that particular style is the rounded corners, the white background, um, the slightly different color border around it to make it pop off the background, and the type of font, the weight of the font, the actual font being used, the color of the font, those particular things. And the fact that there is an image or an icon off to the left of the text. So that is what's dictated by the screen padlock. We call that group styling in Thrive Architect. So the group styling is what dictates this. Now, when I click into the mega menu dropdown itself, you'll see that this also has the green padlock. That's basically saying that all of the mega menu dropdown sections are going to have the rounded corners, the slight border, and this uh, what was bluish gray background. So that's dictated at the group styling level for the mega menu dropdowns. So that's really all there is to it in terms of components. Now let's jump in and take a look at how we can piece this together from scratch. Okay, here we are on a blank page. Let's go ahead and add the menu item from Thrive Architect. So I'm just going to search for menu and I'm going to click on it just to have it drop right onto my screen. Now, the first option that we're going to choose is the simple mega menu option because we cannot accomplish the same effect using a standard dropdown. So once I've selected the simple mega menu, I can choose whether I want to create a custom menu or pull in a menu from WordPress itself. I'm going to go ahead and create a custom menu just because I like to have full control over all the menus. And for the look and feel of this, you can really start with any of these, um, but I'm going to choose um, one that I typically start with. And it always seems to move every time I want to take a look at this, but you know, let's just go ahead and start with this first one. Like I said, we can, we can make any of them look how we want them to look. So by default, a couple things we have here, um, we have our navigation items at the top and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this more centered for us a little bit easier. And then I'm going to add plenty of space for us to work in. Awesome. Great. So now we have our menu in the center of the screen here. And you'll notice that when I hover over uh, menu item nav number two, there is this downward carrot that shows that the menu expands. So this looks a little bit more traditional of what a mega menu looks like. And we want to make some changes to this. So what I would do first is I would click on my anything basically. And up at the top, you'll see the breadcrumbs. Go to simple mega menu. That's our first step. And then on the left hand side, go to main options. And we can make some changes here right away. Uh, the first thing that I would do is to determine if I like the spacing of my menu. And the spacing of the menu is important, right? And the menu itself, if you see the green outline here, that's important because that's the maximum width that the dropdown can inherit. You'll see that as I drop down on nav number two, it expands to fit the entire size. But if I shrunk that, like let's say I brought in the sides. So if I did layout and position, or I need to put it into a content box first. And this is important because this is uh, really applicable when you have like a logo and other things on the side, it shrinks the total space of the area you have to work with. Now notice that my dropdown is smaller. So if you want a larger dropdown, just realize you're going to need to give your menu plenty of space. So let's go ahead and undo that. Great. Now let's start stylizing a few things. So first things first, when I hover over nav number two and I click on mega menu dropdown, 
you'll see that I have this background section. I could also reach that here on the left hand side when I do the drop down. I can look at top level items, which are these first ones, all drop downs, which is our mega menus, and then so on and so forth. So that's how you could select it here in the group styling window. So for this, a couple things. Uh, for my particular layout, I had two columns. So I'll take the number of columns here on the left and drag that down from three to two. And that's fine, we'll stop there for now. Um, we'll make some more changes later. But the first thing I did on my background style was I gave it a background that I liked. And then the next thing that I did was I stylized each of, each of these individual menu items. So for example, on this one, the first thing that I might want to do is to change the background color to white. And you'll see that that's going to give us that background section that I have on my site. And I'll jump back over there real quick. And you can see that these are the items that were turning white. Now, coming back into the sandbox here, each of these menu items have four subsequent items. And we just don't want those, right? So let's start to clean this up and go back to our breadcrumbs, go to simple mega menu, main options, menu items. You can see we have quite a bit. So I just want to start getting rid of these. I'm just going to delete them like this. Because we just want that first level there. That's how we achieve what I have on my site. And again, you could totally customize this. You could make the card style layout for the top level. And then if you had subsequent items underneath it, they could be indented and that would look pretty cool too. I might do that if my site gets bigger. So now we need to go back into our second level items. And the first thing we might want to do is to add an icon or an image. And we're not going to do that by dragging it in off the side from the elements. Instead, you'll notice that we actually have some options here under main options where we can show an icon or we can show an image. And I'm going to use show section image because that's what I used on my menu. Now you could have this image be on the left, you could have it be on the right, you could have it be above it or below it. I like it off to the left, that just to me seems uh, more applicable to a menu, um, but you can do what you'd like. And you can see we're already getting really, really close to my menu. You can see how easy this is. Now, the next thing I'll do, I do want to round those corners just a little bit. So I'll go under borders and corners and maybe give them six pixels. It's uh, just enough to make it noticeable. And I'll click on borders and corners and click on the center box here so that I can apply a one pixel border to all of them. And we'll make it just barely darker than the actual background. And that looks nice. You can see, uh, you can see here the border makes it stand off the background just a tiny little bit. And the last thing we'll do to this background section is on the left hand side here under the state, let's go to hover and let's go to background style. And instead of being white, let's make it just ever so slightly darker, just a subtle, subtle appearance that when we hover over these items, you can see that we've given it a hover effect and that just looks nice. It helps people keep track of where their mouse is at and what they're going to click on. Now we want to add some images to these. So, you can click right on the image box itself and you can add in an image and these images will be unique to each section. So I can just add an image to each of these and I've prepared just a couple of icons for us to use. That's already looking really, really good. Now I can come in here and I can inline, meaning right within the section I'm editing, I can edit these. Let's say this is Thrive Apprentice and this one here is Thrive Leads, Thrive Quiz Builder, and Thrive Theme Builder. So I've made those edits in line. Now in the breadcrumbs, if we go back to Simple Mega Menu, Main Options, Menu Items, you'll notice that it also changed them on the menu items themselves. So that's pretty cool. You can edit in line and it edits it on the actual menu. And the same thing is true for the top level items. I could change this to Courses, and now it's changed to Courses on the left. Likewise, I could change this to services here on the left and hit apply and it changes over here. So really, really cool. Uh, your choice and where you want to edit. It. So uh, another change that I would make, this isn't quite exactly like mine. I would maybe come in here and say, well, this, this nav in my particular, particular implementation here is a little too big. So I'll click on this drop down, and instead of being max width of 100%, maybe I'll shrink that down. 
Maybe all I need is it to be, I don't know, let's try 55. So now it's 55%, and that's already looking really, really good. But I kind of like a little more room on the left-hand side. I kind of want this to be a little bit more towards, maybe more towards the center. So what I'll do is I'll click on the mega menu item, and I'll go to layout and position, and maybe I'll just give them a little bit of padding on the left-hand side, maybe 20 pixels. And that looks really, really good. And as I'm looking at this, maybe these buttons look a little too square for me. So I'll go to borders and corners and I will up how rounded they are. Maybe for this one, we'll go with a much more rounded look. And there you go. That's already looking super good. And now maybe the very last change I'll make is to make sure I'm on the mega menu drop down. I'll make that a little more rounded. Maybe we'll make that 10 pixels as well. And maybe I will give it a border here, slightly darker so that it stands out. And now there you have it. That's exactly how I made my mega menu and I achieved that style. There's room to play, there's customizations that you can make, but that's pretty much the general idea. So if you have any questions about implementing a mega menu on your site, whether it be through Thrive Architect or Thrive Theme Builder, definitely feel free to reach out and ask and I'd be happy to help. So that'll do it for this video. This is Doug from Convology.com and I'll see you in the next one.